radio show. In segment one, I was just sort of like getting all geared up and revved up. And I promised I wouldn't I wouldn't go on and on and on and on. Because I hate videos that do that. I hate them. And I found myself going on and on and on. So in this particular segment, I'm going to try and rein it in a little bit. Fat, sick and nearly dead. Um, you know, I was having my crisis and I happened to watch that and I saw me. While the characters were male, they were talking about this rare skin disease and how one guy who was from down under, I believe he was from Australia, and the other guy lived, I, I don't know, in the United States. I, I want to say middle America somewhere. And both of them had this same rare condition. And ironically, dude from Australia came to the US to actually start this quest to heal himself. And as he was traveling around the US juicing, as he was traveling around the US juicing, he, as we say in the West Indies, him bock up. He actually ran into this guy, um, just obscure. He was a truck driver and kind of ran into him in a truck stop sort of thing and told him about his experience. And the guy said, well, I have the same disease and I love synchronicity. You see, I think that's what got me about the movie, the synchronicity. I love it because that talks to me. And so we have the whole synchronicity thing going on. So here he is from Australia, some obscure place in the United States, meets this guy. They have the exact same condition, same diagnosis, same prognosis, same medication. And so he told the guy what he'd been doing. And he said to the guy, you know, like, hey, look, you want to try this? Mm, yeah. So a year later, anyway, the guy decides he's in crisis. So he calls this dude in Australia. Australia dude helps him out. I think he comes back, helps him out, gets him on the track. Long story short, they were juicing. And I'm like, start wherever you're at. There, for multiple reasons, I, for multiple reasons, juicing wasn't the way to go for me, although I started out juicing, but for multiple reasons, juicing wasn't the way to go for me. And the biggest factor, even as I say in the book, the biggest factor is that there is so much, um, fiber there's so much pulp and fiber for me that's wasted and your body actually needs fiber to help with the digestive system your body needs fiber also to help i'm led to believe with um the actual utilization of insulin and so your body needs fiber for multiple reasons and so for me therefore juicing didn't work now i'm not knocking it I'm not knocking it. Start where you're at. Start where you are at. And also for people who are really ill, some people actually need to start with just the juice. Some people need to start with just the juice and then move over to smoothies because their system, it will be easier on their, their system to deal with. The, the whole cell regeneration, the cleansing of the cell, the detoxing of the cell, everything that happens, it'll be easier. So, so that being said, I watched this movie, I sat up, I watched this movie and I was like, oh my God, that's me. Oh my God, that is me. Now, what I will say from the segment before video number one, what I will say is that um, by the time I had actually watched this, this movie, I had, I don't want to lie, by the time, no, by the, I, I watched the movie and then I purchased the, um, my, my Vitamix. Then I purchased my Vitamix, which is a whole funny story because I know the guy didn't think I was going to do it. Um, but I purchased my Vitamix and even then I kind of sat on it for, for, I, I purchased it in April and I started actually my green smoothie fast in June, June the 16th, 2012. And I purchased in April, May, June. I purchased this, what, April, May, June, like eight months prior to. And so, as I say, I purchased my, um, my Vitamix and in June, June the 16th, 2012, um, I, I had another flare up and it was enough. It literally, it, 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 it put me right over the edge. 
right over the edge. I mean, I just fell off right over the edge. I fell off. It just put me over the edge. And so I, June 16th, I started in earnest my green smoothie fast. Now, given the nature of who I am, and as I always say, for those of you who know me from the radio show, My Life, My Choice, you know I'm all about doing your due diligence. And due diligence is you. You are your cold, hard facts. You, what you have experienced. That being said, of course, I did some research. This is who I am. I did some research and I made my own, my own decisions based on the research that I had done. And as a result, I decided that, yes, I would start out juicing and I'd use my Vitamix and um, all this equipment. I'm going to, I'm going to slot a picture in here, but I used my Vitamix. And as you can see, that's the Vitamix and a nut milk bag. And you will be able to see this is a nut milk bag or that's a nut milk bag. And I used my Vitamix and the nut milk bag to actually create my juice. And I did this and I was fine with this. And as I said earlier, I decided that, you know, there's a lot of fiber that that's being wasted. And for me, this was very, very difficult. So anyway, um, June 16th kicked it off. And uh, here I am, here I am, hale, healthy, whole, and happy. So in the next segment, I'm gonna actually talk about um, what what I needed to do, the things that I needed to do to, to prepare and some of my experiences. So that being said, I wanna thank you for listening. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn, and the book that I have written that is designed to help you to help yourself get prepared for taking your life back is called Green is for Life and it's your guide to choosing healthy food options. I'm Dr. Wendy Dearborn and that's available on Amazon, Kindle, you can get Kindle, Nook. It's an e an ebook. You can actually download it as a PDF. So I'll see you in the next segment.